Welcome to Hull, UK City of Culture 2017. You are listening there to the unmistakable voice of Jeremy Irons, performing the distinctive words of Hull's most famous librarian, Philip Larkin. His poem here is about a journey towards the city of Hull, past its domes and cranes on the low-lying landscapes and out to Holderness and finally to the North Sea. I grew up around here, in the countryside, along the waterways, down the streets and around the buildings. East Yorkshire is my county and I'm proud to call Hull, or to give it its full name, Kingston-upon-Hull, my city. The Australian poet Peter Porter described Hull as the most poetic city in England, and I'm hoping to show you why. I'm delighted to say that joining me live from Hull College tonight are two iconic stars of stage and screen who will be bringing these poems to life for radio. Oscar-winning actor Jeremy Irons, from whom we've already heard, and actress Julie Hesmondhalsh. Welcome to Hull, a city of poets in its own words, as part of the BBC Festival of Performance and Poetry, contains strong language. There's a, there's a very small track into the centre, right into the centre that's been made by other human footprints. I'm going to follow that. You don't want to disturb it. <laughs> Coming here at six o'clock in the morning, when there's no one else about, you feel as though you're stepping into a fairy circle. But they sort of swirl round in a vortex-like shape, and then if you look up, they don't necessarily meet at the top. There are a couple that cross over, but there is a clear view up to the sky as well. But, but what it does do, this sort of shape really that's created by going off at these angles, makes it feel like it is a moving circle, as though you're standing in the middle of a, a sort of carousel, really, that's going round. Golder. Gender reversal is nothing new in Shakespeare, possibly because he was writing for single-sex companies. But how does what you're doing shed light on this focus in the play of sexual jealousy? It's very normal for me, you know. Humans get jealous. Just because it's a woman, it doesn't make it any different, does it? Let's ask Patrick, shall we? Coming at it from Iago, do you think that yes, the power play... <laughs> in terms of those big themes that you've talked about, playing with class, playing with gender, do you not think a piece of new writing could highlight this better for modern audiences than going back to a Shakespeare? Uh, <laughs> Maybe. The I don't... Yeah, yeah. I, yeah find what the writer, writer give the them? money to write it, commission that. Yeah. Are you tick-boxing for Arts Council funding? Not at all. What we applied for at the start was actually a completely different project. It, obviously, this year has been incredible, but the funding body itself has supported both of you as a theatre director and as a playwright. Is this not sort of biting the hand that feeds you? Oh, good question. Well, I would say it's, it's neither that nor is it not going to be that. And, and as, I guess as artists, we also have a responsibility to even, even challenge uh, those organisations and bodies that support and fund us, and they would expect us to do that as well. I've been presenting Spring Watch, Autumn Watch and Winter Watch for the past few years, so my eyes are firmly focused on the seasons. It's fair to say that the experts are concerned. We must be worried by these changes because it has so many other effects. This is like a steamroller. The planet's climate has been constantly changing for hundreds of thousands of years, However, the concern is that human-induced warming is forcing these changes to happen at a much quicker rate, and this may have serious implications for wildlife. Essentially, we don't know how our flora and fauna will cope. Will they be able to adapt and thrive, or will we lose some species forever? This feels like a, a living piece of art something that's evolving all the time it's changing it's growing but it's going to do that so slowly if i come back here in five years time to look at this artwork it's going to look pretty similar isn't it but if i come back here in 500 years time will it have gone probably outlive me which is okay i think <laughs> 